Yeah, I'm Ashley Plumpter. I'm from England, um, born and raised, I guess. Um, I play for Leicester City um, Football Club, which is like in the middle of England. Um, I've been playing professionally for Leicester for a year and a half now. I'm going into my second like official season with them. We've just been promoted from the Championship to the Women's Super League. Um, so that's like from the second division to the first division. Um, and we've only been a professional team for uh, the year that just gone. So in our first year of being professional, we managed to, to get promoted. Yeah, yeah, so when I was younger, I did, I played probably about 35 times for England at the youth age groups. Um, and then that was like under 15 up until I had an under 23 camp. And in the last year and a half, I've been discussing with my family about um, trying to get into the Nigerian setup. Um, and it was quite, yeah, quite a, a quick turnaround. I expressed my interest and then it kind of got out in the media and then um, through Randy, I got my, my first call up um, to come to Austria. Yeah, um, so yeah, obviously I've, I've been brought up in England, brought up English, but my, my grandfather is um, from Lagos and my dad's half Nigerian. Um, my sister, my younger sister is also a quarter Nigerian like me, um, so we have a half Nigerian dad and a white mum. Um, we have different mums, but both white mothers. And she looks a little bit different to me, I'll be honest, I guess. Um, and not a lot of people, I guess, expect me to have Nigerian heritage in me. But um, you look at my sister, even though we have the same dad, she looks a little bit different to me. So um, his, her skin tone is a little bit darker than mine and she has a different hair texture. Um, with that, she's had different experiences kind of growing up. She's only 11 and she's always really resonated with the Nigerian heritage. She's only like our only family member in England that can really teach her about her heritage really is our, our grandfather. So he teaches her Yoruba at the minute and, <laughs> and even she's trying to teach me, which is which is nice. So I feel like being able to join the Nigerian um, national team is kind of like a journey of mine and my sisters. I get to tell, learn about the culture with the girls here because um, I haven't actually been to Nigeria yet, it's all that me and my sister want to do, but she can teach me about, you know, she's a Nigerian in England and she's had different experiences growing up and in school than what I have. So as much as I'm learning from her, she can learn from me, from me being here as well. So it is, it's really nice because my sister is, um, she is my whole heart really. <laughs> Uh, do you know what? Everybody's been really, really welcoming. Um, I actually only knew Innie before uh, before coming here, so it was a little bit nerve-wracking coming into a new environment. I hadn't met any of the staff even, either. Um, but really, I was just excited. I'm just excited to, to learn, really um, embrace what the environment is all about, and with that, learn about different, not just football, but just like cultural things that I'm not necessarily used to but I'm really excited to learn like even at the minute even at lunches and dinners I can like get into conversations and hear about people's experiences in football or in life and um, I think that's really important for me especially joining this team obviously um, being new and not having any experience and I'm just trying to soak it all up at the minute. Uh, I think he's, do you know what, I, like I said, I didn't know of him before. I had a coach in America who, um, who knew him and only spoke highly of him. And I know that he has a, a good resume. He's done a lot of things in America and has been very successful over there. And I know he's come out here with um, a really fresh outlook um, on, on the sport. And I think even just in my first training session, I could see exactly what he wanted to implement on the team and um, just the, the competitive edge and just that he really creates a good environment for everybody to thrive and I, I felt that from the day I, I um, got out here. Yeah, I think that would be a, a huge honour, a really huge honour. Um, 
I guess, yeah, I heard about it and I heard about what, actually what the tournament stands for. I like the idea that um, it is like some of the top teams in Africa and the fact that he's trying to promote young girls getting involved, I think that is um, brilliant and I, I'm all for that. I think it's just as important to be trying to push young children outside of football so I don't just play I like I always like to say that I don't just play football to play it I would like to um, have more of an influence off the field as well and um, to be included in that squad which um, all I can do at the minute is just train as hard as I can and enjoy every moment and hopefully with that um, potentially be, I could be in the running to get selected but at the minute it's um, just showing what I'm worth first before you know have any expectation of being selected.